Her relationship with Sheikh Hamdan Faza is not working, even though she said, we, me and Faza, Sheikh Hamdan. She said, me and Faza, we have been in contact. We are in a relationship for so many months and years. But nevertheless, right now, she is at a point where she doesn't know why it all started. By the way, this is something that was sent to me with evidence, with proofs. She not only said it, she not only emailed me, but she also sent me proofs showing me, telling me that this is real. As I said in my past videos, we do not know if you are talking to the real Faza, Sheikh Hamdan, or not. We do not know. This is something I will never claim. He can't come out and talk to you. This person, this lady, she wrote to me and she said, I'm talking to the real Faza. We are in a relationship. We know each other for so long. We did this, we did that. But now she doesn't even know why that even started. Why? Why did Sheikh Hamdan Faza do what he did? Before I mention this whole story and show you the proof, I want to tell you this. If you are someone who has a story, if you have been in contact with Sheikh Hamdan Faza, whoever it is, email me, let me know so that I can share your story. I do not reveal your personal details, but if you ask me to do so, I will do it. But write to me, email me, let me know your story so that we can share it, because when we do that, a lot of people benefit. This story is very, very interesting. As I said, the lady here presented proofs. You cannot ignore these facts. You cannot brush them off over and over again. So what is the story? What is it that I want to share with you? But before I do that, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel because we talk about Sheikh Hamdan Faza on this channel. In fact, most of the time we talk only about him, his lifestyle, what he is up to and whatnot. So again, if you're new here, consider subscribing. The story goes something like this, very, very interesting, very, very interesting indeed. She said, and she wrote my name at the beginning of this email, she said, listen, I have been dealing with this for a long time. She starts off the email by mentioning, she has been dealing with this for a long time. I have never asked Prince Hamdan for a thing. She never asked for a present, any gift. He never asked me for anything. And Sheikh Hamdan Faza did not ask her, for example, to buy a royal card or a royal membership. That did not happen. She did not ask for anything. Sheikh Hamdan Faza did not ask anything from her either. So what was the problem? The problem is, she said, I still, I haven't gotten back. They did not get back to me, meaning Sheikh Hamdan Faza and his family, on what the next move is. Are they going to propose to me? Are they going to take it to a new level, the next level? Which might mean getting married which might mean at least coming close to the royal Dubai royal family, finding out who they are, bringing this lady, this woman, this lover, closer to the relationship, to the family. She said, I do not know what will be the next move because I had opened a business account. Now this is where things get very interesting. She was asked by Sheikh Hamdan Faza and his team to open a business account. And this is what makes her really upset. And this is what she said exactly. These are her words. She said, why would Sheikh Hamdan Faza ask me to open a business account? And then, all of a sudden, Sheikh Hamdan Faza did not talk to her. She said, quote, As I said, there were two other men involved. I believe we'll call him Rob, who's in Hawaii, and his boss, this lying Tony Stark, don't know where. But this thing started to get weird. Tony Stark and another man, they contacted her. There are two men, one from Hawaii and the other one Tony Stark. Both seem to be from the States, both from Hawaii. Am I saying right? Hawaii, Hawaii. So the people working for Sheikh Hamdan Faza, who are working for Sheikh Hamdan Faza, according to her, they are getting in contact with her because they want this person to open a bank account now. Doesn't mean they will ask her for money. That did not happen. It's very, very important for us to understand here. She said the reason she is confused is that why Sheikh Hamdan Faza, his team, would ask me to open a business account and then I do not know what is next. This is what she said. She said, I was asked to keep all conversations via email or phone documented, which I did. I have a folder five inches thick, if not more. Actually, I have three folders that I printed off the conversations. In other words, she has proof that she did talk to Sheikh Hamdan Fadza. I'll show you this picture as proof that she sent me where she said basically that this is the conversation, this is how money was transferred and what not. This was sent to her, as you can see, Prince Hamdan replied. This is not her real name, though, this is a pseudonym. 
She said the email basically thanks to Allah for having you here again. I lost you on Hangout Chat. Hope you received the money from the Everbank of America. I want to mention a very important thing here. Okay, when this person is saying that he sent him money through Everbank in America, I want to tell you this. Hangout is not something Sheikh Hamdan Faza uses. Number one point, if you are talking to Sheikh Hamdan Faza on Hangout, most likely you will not talk to the right one again. I will not say anything. It is up to you. It can be Sheikh Hamdan Faza real. But normally, people will come and tell you Sheikh Hamdan Faza is not on Hangout. Number two, Everbank. Money sending through that bank. It happens all the time. People like yourself, if you're listening, they get an email from Sheikh Hamdan Faza and they claim that they have sent money. Sheikh Hamdan Faza sent money to Everbank of America. This happens all the time, so you need to be careful about that. Now things get very, very interesting when this whole team of Sheikh Hamdan Faza got involved in this, and they are looking very serious about this business deal. Because she opened a business account, she has a collection of all the texts and emails, she put them in a folder as evidence, and she documented everything. This is exactly what we all should do. Every time you talk to someone, document it. And she said, quote, Well, I noticed the other day that one of the dudes claimed his name. Check this out. Tony Stark. Tony Stark. Well, as if I was that slow, which I was, the name is associated with the superhero movie. Now, the problems that Sheikh Hamdan Faza and his team have with this particular lady are because they are accusing her of being very, very slow in dealing with them. They are saying you are not fast enough. You are not taking a step. You are not making it happen because they wanted to have a relationship with Sheikh Hamdan Faza and this lady. At the same time, they wanted Sheikh Hamdan Faza to have a business relationship. So business relationship and personal relationship, that's what they were aiming for. But none of them are panning out the way they thought it would. And she is getting upset because now they're saying you are slow. This whole fiasco is happening because you are slow. You need to pick up the pace. Then she said something very, very interesting, that the name Tony Stark is a name from superhero movies. I don't watch movies. I do not know. She checked the name. She checked the name. And this is what you should do. Then she said, now very interesting. She said, this name is the man's name that was the businessman in Hawaii. Well, he also has a loan company. A loan company and knew a lot about law, as I am not that slow. But hey, once again... It brings me back to becoming upset. She said, I'm not going to use the exact word. They paid for a business license, not a DBA LLC, so it looks like she received payment. This is very, very interesting because normally you do not see Sheikh Hamdan Faza paying someone. It is the other way around. It is the lover, people who want to be in a relationship. They are getting paid. It is not Sheikh Hamdan who pays them. It is the people that are getting paid. So this is very interesting because it looks like she said that they paid for a business license. Why would they pay for a business license if they are not genuine, if they are not sincere? Then she said, quote, For me, and it's registered in Minnesota, this whole thing has me so messed up in the head that it's not making any sense. They did not steal anything from me. They did some very upsetting things. I'm not going to use the word, but nothing to where I have to worry about my credit or anything else. So, okay, this is a very important thing, and very, very, I mean, this thing is something you all want to remember. Every time you deal with anyone, Sheikh Hamdan Fazla, online, you must make sure that your credit is not affected, and at the same time, you must make sure you do not take money from them. This lady, she did not, looks like she did not take any money from Sheikh Hamdan Fazla, and Sheikh Hamdan Fazla, on the other hand, did not receive any money from her, nor did he ask her to pay anything. When you are in contact with Sheikh Hamdan Faza, normally money will come. Every time you contact Sheikh Hamdan, there will be a conversation about money. Buying your oil membership card or paying for his trip so that he can come to you or paying him for the helicopter that he will send you to bring you to the palace. Things like that. So there is always this element where you see money is involved. Always. In this case, it is exactly the same. Money is involved. In fact, money is the main reason why this whole thing started. And then, obviously, you also have the relationship side of it, of the conversation. 
What we understand from these kinds of messages is very, very simple. You are in a relationship with Sheikh Hamdan Faza. If you can prove it, I'm not saying again, I will not claim anything. If you can prove it, and you have evidence, you have proof, that's good for you. You can go ahead and have a relationship with Sheikh Hamdan Faza. Looking at the story of Sheikh Hamdan Faza, what he is doing right now, we can say with conviction that Sheikh Hamdan Faza is not looking for a marriage at the moment. Would he have a relationship outside the marriage? Unlikely, but can happen. Does he have a concubine or any other woman in his life? Possible, we do not know. This is not something we claim when we talk about his relationship in this channel. Look, he is having an affair. In fact, I mentioned it yesterday in my video that a lot of people are claiming he has a relationship with Hollywood celebrities. And I said, no, that is not true. Emma Watson, Paris Hilton, you name it, Lindsay Lohan. These are all made up stories. Nevertheless, we will never say that he does not want to marry any other woman or he thought that he is not interested. In fact, it can be quite the opposite, but again, we do not know. It might happen. So, if you are talking to Sheikh Hamdan Faza, going back to the story of this person, we see a lot of things good about this interaction, but there are a lot of things not panning out the way it should. Good things are that. She's opening a business account. She is someone who is finding now a new way of looking at herself, especially when it comes to opening a business. She might be inspired now, she might be motivated now. Maybe she never thought about opening a business in the past. Now that somebody is contacting her, she has a business account, there is a possibility. We do not know that she might go into some kind of business. The bad thing is that this conversation that she is having with these people in Hawaii from the States is not going anywhere. Again, if you have a story you want to share with me, feel free to write to my email address, royals101 at yahoo.com. I believe that's the address. I have a few comments here. Annaline Francisco, good evening. Thank you, Annaline. I do not know where you're from, Annaline. If you can let me know, that'll be great. You are from UK, Philippine, US, Canada. Kelly, well, if she's speaking with him and he asked for that, it's very strange. I would worry about that. They could put her in debt. A possible. If you are, I mean, the good thing about this, Kelly, is that she's not involved in any kind of transaction. Yes, she has a business account, but she's not sending money to him, nor is she asking them to send her money, for which she could be in debt. But that's a good point. Heike, hello from Germany. That's true. Heike, thank you again for joining in. I'm 18 years old. Away. I do not know why you're talking about that. Sheikh Hamdan is waiting for the most beautiful. Okay, Kelly. I have a serious question. Why does not the... He put stuff to all of these people, saying they are him and using people. He would probably, the first reason, is he probably doesn't even know. He doesn't have time for YouTube. He doesn't have time like you and me. Have coming and talking about it. And at the same time, maybe nobody told him yet. So when we make this video and we talk to you guys about these things, hopefully one day he will see these videos and see like, oh, these guys talking about this thing. So I need to do something about it. The other thing also, he is just, maybe he's aware, but he doesn't bother because there are maybe thousands of them. So how many he can deal with if he puts out one video? Then he cannot just say, oh, just one video, and I'm done because people will, he might, people might even get more confused. If he talks about this once, he has to come on this, you know, in this kind of video, or if he's making any kind of videos addressing this issue, he has to do it over and over again, but I don't think he's He'll be interested or he has the time. 